into to bat. In fact, Dennis Amos and uh, Barry Wood started quite slowly, but eventually they started to unroll their shots. Ramesh Sethi. Just one player of Croatia at mid-wicket. Two there. Won't quite go for the four. He wants for his 50. They'll get three. He'll move on to 49. Ninety-three then without loss. PG now another bowler. Amis on forty-nine. So Amis going to his fifty, pushing that gently away to mid wicket. He moves to 50, a very good 50 out of 94. This opening stand now worth his partner Barry Wood on the 38. It's Barry Wood, the bow at the facing at the far end, and cracking that through the covers. Zulfikar, the fielder out there, Wood taking a single. And there's been some fairly accurate bowling from the East Africans. Some lapses in the field, as you can see there, with Wood able to take the overthrow, and certainly nothing penetrating at all about this attack. Very leisurely medium pace, the most of it. Saiti is the fourth bowler we've seen in action so far, having just taken over from Don Pringle, who bowled right through his 12 overs, the veteran opening bowler. 12, pretty useful over, swung the ball about quite considerably, in fact, but England so far in no trouble at all. 99 at the moment. And Barry Wood pushing that through comfortably into mid-wicket, taking 100. This put in, in by the East Africans here, very much a defensive measure and ensuring, I think, a, a fairly good day's cricket for the people who've come along to see this match here today. The wicket, an absolute beauty. There's a hundred going up in less than an hour and a half from 27 overs. A particularly good over rate, in fact, by the East Africans. And there's Amos going for the big one, lofting it into the outfield. And with this solid basis, formed by these most reliable of openers. Surely we're in for a little bit of a run riot later in the England innings. PG Nana to Barry Wood. Wood now on 49. Wood on 49. Problem in going to his 50, driven very pleasantly through the covers. Turn and take two, Eunice doing the fielding, good throw coming in. So Barry Wood joining his partner Dennis Amos, the second 50 of this innings. He moves to 51 out of 122. Zul Fikar Ali, the medium pacer, starting his second over. 126 without loss, England. Turned away elegantly and easily down to deep run leg for four. And it's moving into the 70s, the England total onto 130. <laughs> 140, the England score. <laughs> 144. on 88, Zulfika, the bowler. And that's it. So the first wicket going down. No, no, there's a man taking the catch. Very wide mid on. Dennis Amis out. The England score on 158, and he's made 88 of them in a very pleasant manner indeed. Shot there from Frank Hayes, half following the looks and beautifully turned away for four. His first boundary. Hayes moving on now to six. Still to be Karachi from the press box end. And in now to start his sixth over. Barry Wood on 77. And he's bowled him. So another success for the medium pace of Karachi. Zulfikar to Frank Hayes. 
That's an enormous blow high in the air. Tremendous blow there by Frank Hayes, but an awful lot of height on it. That's a fine blow way over the top of extra cover. Four runs to Frank Hayes. And that's an, another tremendous blow. It may well carry for... Yes, it's six. Eight rows back into the long arm stand. And no doubt at all, the innings of the day coming there from Frank Hayes. 52 at rather quicker than a run a minute. Superb exhibition from the Lancastrian. Tony Gregg came in early on Dennis's orders to try and get a little bit of practice, but he fell LBW to... Zed Ali for nine. Alan Knott followed him, made 18 very pleasant runs. Chris Old, as ever, threw the bat. He too made 18. And Dennis himself was undefeated with 12 at the close of the 60 overs when England had made 290 for five. An immense and impossible situation for the East Africans. They really needed to get a good start to make any kind of a score. But it was John Snow, back in England form, who really got amongst the early batsmen. And he's bowled in, late on the shot. John Snow's first record in the Prudential Cup. He bowls Frazard Ali for naught. Barry Wood in the gully, and umpire John Langridge. And bowled in, off the inside edge. Eunice out for naught. John Snow's second winning wicket in the over. And that's out, LBW. John Snow not bothering to appeal, but the appeal from Alan Knott upheld. And Jawahir Shah is out, LBW to Snow, his third wicket of the innings. Snow to Wallace And that must be close, yes, it's another LBW decision answered in favour of John Snow. All four wickets, the first four wickets going down here to the Sussex pace bowler. And at 21 for four, East Africa in all kinds of trouble. So a fine performance by John Snow, a performance, in fact, which won him the award of the man of the match here at Birmingham today. Well, there was no way in which East Africa would really recover from such a shocking start. There was some spirited resistance from Saiti, who made 30, and Qureshi, who followed his two wickets with 19 very useful runs. But Peter Lever, coming back into the England attack, collected three wickets, supported well by Tony Gregg, and Chris Hole, coming on near the end, took the last wicket, that of Don Pringle. That meant that East Africa were all out for 94 and another handsome and comfortable victory for England by 196 runs. And how good it is to see John Snow back in the England groove again. His figures today, 4 for 11 off his allotted 12 overs. Right, let's have a look at the other results around the country. First of all, at Old Trafford.